Hi, this is Mark Thompson again from Gord Works, and I thought I'd take a little break this week and show you, give you some demonstrations. In this case, we have Gord musical instruments. This is a Native American, as you can see, has drum heads on both sides and little pedals or wooden balls, and it's called a pellet drum. And uh, you can see, just with a twist of the hand, makes a great sound. Another instrument we have is an unusual one. Some people call this a rain stick because stones or pebbles or shells are put inside, so when you move it, that's kind of a rainy sound. Uh, it is a guero, so designed that way with these little ridges that have been carved into it. So you could actually do both. You use a stick to go over those ridges, and you could shake it at the same time. Guero, G-U-I-R-O, or guero in Spanish. It's got some beautiful designs on here, carving designs as well. This looks like a penguin gourd has been dried and made into this instrument. Then we have a whole host of shakers or rattles, different sizes, different sounds. This one is made in Kenya. Again, it's got a beautiful design on it. There's lots of different kinds of rattles. This one, more of a traditional shape with the long handle. In this case, it's wound with leather. And this can come off, add it to a different stick. You can put designs on the top of it as well. Many different kinds of gourd rattles. The smaller ones, this one has bells and flowers on it. They're often decorated with the handles. You can hold it better as well. This one has a woven handle. So you don't mute the gourd and the sound of the seeds or stones. Beautiful woven, as you can see, like a basket. Now here's a different guero that uh, quite much larger as you can see. It's got the ridges on the back and it's got open mouth fish and holes on the bottom so the sound can project more. So you can see I can tap it and scrape it. It's so much louder than the first one I showed you. Here's an unusual instrument here. We have, and look at my notes for it. And this is a cymbal drum. You can see it's a calabash dried, uh, two halves, so they put things in it. There's a rock in there. And then if you really are vigorous in shaking it, You have the little metal discs that are in between that shake along with the shaker part. It's got a kind of a wishbone shape to it. And then we have kind of an unusual one here, South African in this case. It's a thumb piano. The half shell with a top to it uses a sounding board and then the keys, the metal strips are different lengths for, for tone and they have a nice little ring to them. It's called a thumb piano, it's African. Very unusual sound. As you can see this holes just like a guitar would have or a violin so that the shell itself acts as the sound chamber. What else do I have? This little funny thing, yes, it's a small little gourd chopped off on both ends, but with a little chamber in there, little uh, 
vellum sheet that's in there. Yes, it's a little kazoo made out of a gourd. And here's an older rattle from a calabash. Made some great choices of shells or stones in here. Here's a longer handle. As you can see, it's quite loud to be used in ceremonial dances. So I thought I'd give you a short trip today through some of my collection of gourd musical instruments. Have a good time.